Hey everybody, so we just had rock and or better said I just had rock and roll book club and I just realized that I forgot to hit the record button so that I could share this video to YouTube. So more fool me. This is a really con really condensed version of what I was talking about. Um, I know that I said that I was going to do major labels by Califasana this week, but as you probably heard, we've had a little bit of a disruptive week and weekend in Ottawa. Um, which for a lot of reasons has not been conducive to reading. So I wanted to talk about three books that are good books that stand alone on their own, but they're not necessarily books that I wanted to include in the book club this year for various reasons that I'll go into here. Uh, book number one, Christina Rosenvinga's debut. Why can't I include it? Because unfortunately it's in Spanish. Um, Christina Rosenvinga is a Danish slash Spanish singer songwriter, started out as a teen sensation act in a, in a duet called Alex and Christina back in the early 1990s and then went on to have a fairly amazing career as a singer-songwriter in her own right working in Spain and also living and working in the United States as well. I really wish that this book was available in English because it's really quite fascinating because she goes into the process of writing songs. She goes into the the psychology of what it's like to try and be a mother and to work in in music at the same time. In a lot of senses, it also works as a really good uh, compliment book to Liz Fair's horror stories, which we're gonna look at in two weeks. So um, I love this book because obviously if you're writing the book and you hold the copyright to the songs, you can also quote your own songs in the book as well, which is really amazing. Um, so unfortunately, because of the language barrier, couldn't include this one. But if you're listening, if you're really in the, it, it, interested in like really good singer songwriter kind of music, Christina Rosenvinga is somebody you definitely want to check out on platforms. Don't want to say which ones because that's a very personal decision, but platforms will definitely have her music. Book number two, and I'll spare you the long, Tim, Tim, <laughs> the long story about meeting Tim Burgess once and only and not making an ass of myself. Telling Story is by Tim Burgess, which is uh, definitely one of those, of one of a book for those of you who are super into shoegaze, super into, you know, Britpop from the early 1990s. It's a good book. Um, it's an interesting book because it's written from the point of view of somebody who's not just a producer of the music, but somebody who's a deep music lover and lives the life through his, lives his life through his, uh, his music and the music of others. You may be familiar with Tim and his uh, Twitter listening parties. Um, if not, check out Tim's Twitter listening party on, on um, oh God, Twitter. I need more caffeine, obviously. Um, and the last one, uh, for those of you who love 70s rock and roll excess, uh, there goes Gravity by Lisa Robinson. And it's not that I didn't want to include this book because it's a bad book. It's just that because I'm already doing Nobody Asked Me About the Girls on March 1st, um, this one kind of gets an honorable mention, especially because it mostly features stuff about like, you know, rock from the, the late 60s to the mid 1970s, late 1970s. If you love the stories about Led Zeppelin, if you love the stories about um, the craziness of touring with the Stones, this is the book that you want. Anyway, that is a very, very quick summary of what I talked about. Uh, I will post the link underneath here if you'd like to see the full video. It's available on my uh, Facebook page. I blather a lot more than I'm blathering here, but it's my YouTube channel. I'm going to blather as much as I want. So just a reminder that the next book club will be in two weeks time at fe on February 15th at 7 p.m. Eastern, and it will be to discuss or me just talking about Liz Fair's horror stories right there. Um, if you'd like to think ahead a couple of weeks about what else you can read because you can't get through the horror stories um, before then, again, we'll be doing more. Uh, Nobody Asked Me About the Girls by Lisa Robinson, uh, March 1st. And if you'd like something with a bit more of a run up time, March 15th, um, this is not a book that's widely available in Canada, um, but it is still a fascinating tale. I'm Not With The Band, written by music industry expert Sylvia Patterson, who works out of the UK. Um, again, two books for Women's Month. Happy reading, happy rocking, and uh, yeah, stay sane in the middle of all this, all this craziness. Look forward to talking to you soon.